Greetings, 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 peace, love, and light, family. I am Sis D. I'm a spiritualist and a naturalist, and I believe I'm an humble messenger and oracle of the Most High Yah. Sometimes I come to y'all with messages of encouragement. Sometimes those messages are just general information, and sometimes they're correction and forewarning. And um, today is kind of a forewarning. That's the category I'm going to put it in. It might be correctional because some of y'all that are watching out there, it might be things you need to change and do, okay? And so, I really wasn't going to come on today being the seventh day of the week. I really try to rest and also give you guys time to de-stress, decompress, but it was stirring in my spirit. So, I had to be obedient and come share, okay? So, before I go any further, let me stop and say really quickly, welcome, welcome, welcome to the first time viewers of the channel. I hope and pray to the most high that you enjoy the content that I'm going to bring to you today, okay? And without further ado, let me go ahead and um, jump into the message that I got because I don't want to be super long, if spirit says so, but I'm going to just go so y'all follow me, okay? So, the message that I got was King Esau being thrown down from his throne king esau being thrown down from his throne okay like i'm gonna give you an analogy right like say queen elizabeth and her husband king andrew what if somebody just came and said you're not the king anymore i can prove that you don't you're not the rightful heir and throws both of them down and knocks the knocks the throne down slaps the crown off the crown off their head okay so that's that analogy is what spiritually came to me king esau being thrown down or cast down from his throne okay and so for y'all who might not be into the holy scriptures that's generally the place i'm always going to come from because i said i'm a messenger and an oracle i say what the most high has already said and make it be more open for you to understand okay messenger is i say what the most high said to me to say to the people that's how i operate okay and so i hope that y'all can take it like that from my heart to y'all's if it ever comes across harsh that's not me, Sis D, as a caring person, as a humanitarian. I always uh, go for reconciliation and for kindness and compassion. But sometimes the messages that the Most High brings, y'all, it's not always, ooh, cushy, cushy, comfortable like a baby blanket. Sometimes the messages don't come like that. So um, let me apologize in advance if this comes across harsh, okay? So if you go back in the Holy Scriptures to Genesis 25, is the birth of the twins Esau the oldest Jacob the younger they're twins and the Bible mentions something kind of particular about Esau when he's born this baby looked different he just don't look like all the rest of the people he looks kind of odd so the Bible mentions he comes out and his coloring is funny and not only is his coloring a beautiful brown or shade of brown, like the earth that we come out of, different shades and colors of brown, i.e. our melanin, the Bible records this baby is red. Like, we can see his blood showing up under his skin. So, he's not really pink and he's not really white. This baby is red. Okay, and not only is he like red colored because we can see... The blood coursing up under his skin, but this baby is got hair all over, like a garment. Like his body is so hairy. The Bible comments and notates that, y'all. And so the Esau, the father, later on marries and has and begins a nation of people. His name is Esau. The people become Edomites. Yeah. And this is all this is all scripture, y'all. This is not Sis D saying it. Go back to Genesis 25 and read Genesis 25, and then you'll understand. Okay. And and I'm not cracking on anybody. This is not I'm I'm about reconciliation in all things and understanding. So please, I hope this message is taken in that vein. Okay. So y'all, Esau marries, begins to have children, becomes a larger nation. Esau's lineage then becomes Edomites. 
Edomite people are Gentile people, biblically speaking. And they are the people that have been known to the world as Europeans, Caucasians, white, however you want to call them. Okay? And no, and no disrespect, y'all. No disrespect at all. But here's where the problem comes in. And this is, I think, why the message, the Most High gave me this message. The reason why the Most High is trying to forewarn y'all is you had a twin that you hate. And not only do you hate your twin that looks like the rest of us, melanated, darker complected, more melanin. So not only do you hate your twin, you are actively harming your twin. You are actively imprisoning your twin. You are actively oppressing your twin. You are actively using your twin. And the Most High is not pleased, y'all. For you all who are watching Sis D, please know that this is not me saying this is the most high giving this message yeah i'm all about love i'm all about positivity i'm all about bringing together the people but y'all counterparts you please hear me well y'all better speak to your people the message is for warning for y'all and for some of y'all who are got these weird biases and when you're with a group of your people, you're still speaking ill and you're saying little undercurrent comments, you better correct it. The Most High is hearing all of that and not only hearing, recording it. So y'all better try to get it together. The Most High is forewarning y'all to say, it's only going to get worse. Your time of rulership is over. So you're being cast down from your throne. Your crown is slapped off your head. It is, it's over. And the reason why it's over is because you hate your brethren. You can't ever get your heart energy right to love others that don't look like you. That don't worship like you. That don't fellowship like you. That don't socialize like you. That don't eat like you. That don't dress like you. That don't dance like you. But yet, you know that's your brother. And you're constantly stealing everything your twin does. Everything. Your culture vulturing all of it. Instead of coming to a place of love and reconciliation to say, Hey, you know what? This battle has been going on far too long. Y'all, let's come together. Let's truly figure out how we can unite as people, even though it might not ever be kumbaya, it might not ever be that, but let's figure out how to come together. Let's figure out how we can reconcile. Let's put all the hatred and the malice aside to figure out how we can work together as a people. And since y'all are refusing, we've always done that. And I'm I'm speaking from the perspective of a melanated Aboriginal Indigenous woman. My forefathers were here always on one side. The other side of my family, we were brought here, captive slash enslaved. So I got both sides. I got the Indigenous we were always here side, and I got the descendant side. <laughs> so I stand firm, and I got receipts. Mm -hmm. I stand firm in my statement. Okay? Y'all, y'all, you better talk to your people. Y'all, I'm. this is a forewarning. Forewarning of y'all who are not doing right. And you know who you are. If you are part of the delightful family that I greet all the time. If you are part of the vibe up y'all tribe. Correction this morning. For warning and correction. You Edomite people. You biblical Gentiles. That the most high calls Edom. Or Edomites. You are the nation of Esau. Your family comes out of the Caucasus mountains. 
if you are ethnically European, if you are a Caucasoid person, please hear me well. Sis D personally has nothing against you. But the most high is keeping tabs. And right now, y'all are not tallying so well. Matter of fact, you guys are in the deficit because your hatred is ruling your heart. And you can't figure out how to stop trying to destroy us. Anyway, with that said, I'm going to stop right there. I hope that y'all can get something out of this message. Again, let me thank, thank, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for taking a moment out of your, I don't know where y'all are, but I am in beauty, be beautiful, beautiful nature, getting some sun rays. As y'all can see, it's a little slight breeze today, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Y'all get outside and get your sun rays. Go hug a tree. I can't just found I got a whole bunch of tree allergy. But y'all have a tree for Sis D, all right? Um, with that being said, again, thank you, thank you, thank you for taking a moment out of your seventh day of rest to spend with Sis D. I definitely do, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate you guys taking time. To my delightful family, to the vibe of y'all tribe, I see y'all, I see y'all, I see y'all. May the Most High bless you, keep you. May he cause his countenance to shine down upon you as my blessing for you today, all right? And with that, I'm going to end by saying, vibe up, y'all, vibe up. This is the and I'm it.